This is Witchspace News for Friday the 17th of January 2020. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news ...the January patch drops ...Frontier want your stellar screenshots ...Game Glass adds support for Elite Dangerous ...Elite is on UK postal stamps and we'll have a smattering of community news. If you enjoy this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. The first of this years promised bug fixes dropped this week with the anticipated January patch. We did a breakdown of exactly what was included in the patch which you can find linked on screen now. Given the experience the Elite community had with the September patch last year nerves were running understandably high and whilst it hasn't been all plain sailing I think we can all agree it could have been so much worse. Some initial issues around framerate drops when exiting hyperspace were identified and then addressed by Frontier firstly on social media and then in a patch for the PC the next day. The same patch for consoles is expected to drop early next week with a follow up patch expected later in the week on all platforms to address some of the as yet unspecified high priority bugs. Amongst players concerns are the invincible Thargoid heart bug which appears to still be an issue combat zone progress bars that disappear halfway through the fight leading to a combat zone that can't be completed and the sell price of mined commodities not appearing correctly. If you've got a bug that's particularly bothering you then head over to the Frontier Issue Tracker which is linked in the video description and make sure it's reported. As I mentioned there's a follow up patch for all platforms expected next week and as soon as we have details on what's included in that patch we'll let you know. Elite Dangerous has always been a very photogenic game and there are at least two communities within the online elitosphere that are dedicated to nothing else. Those communities being the SPVFA and Galphoto. Frontier themselves however have recently put out the call for commanders very best elite screenshots to be submitted with a chance for those screenshots to be shared across elites official social media feeds. If you're looking to make a name for yourself amongst the photography elite of uh, Elite then this could be your chance to get recognised. Submit your screenshot to Frontier on Twitter or Facebook to enter the fray and you never know your work could suddenly be seen by a much larger galactic audience. The second screen third party application Game Glass that made a name for itself with its initial offering to Star Citizen is now available for use on Elite Dangerous. If you're unfamiliar with Game Glass it seeks to provide a cockpit style touch screen interface using a second monitor or ideally a phone or tablet that interfaces directly with the game on PC allowing you to perform a number of in game functions such as activating landing gear, frame shift drives or cargo scoops etc from a slick looking in game style visual interface. You can try the basic interface yourself for free on one screen and you then have the option to buy individual shards that increase the functionality of the app into more advanced areas such as mining or exploration as well as allowing their use on multiple screens. Alternatively you can pay a monthly subscription to gain access to all the elite shards across multiple screens. The UK post office is issuing a new set of commemorative stamps this month celebrating classic UK designed video games and the original Elite is featured on one of the stamps. The stamps will be featured in a special commemorative collectors pack which will be limited to a run of just 2500 units. As well as Elite the stamps feature classic titles like Tomb Raider and Lemmings and will also include a booklet detailing stories about the origins and impact of these iconic video games. Suffice to say here at the Burr Pit we've ordered one. And here's this weeks smattering of community news. As you may have seen on last nights Frontier livestream the Hutton orbital truckers have tasked themselves with delivering a single unit of the rare commodity Hutton mug to every single station, starport and outpost in the galaxy that has a commodity market. That's somewhere in the region of 54,000 commodity markets. In order to combat what the truckers call mug ownership deficiency syndrome they're inviting anyone with a cargo hold to get involved and help with the colossal task. 
The elite dangerous author and novelist Drew Wager has announced the launch date of what he's calling the Lore Tour. Details are sparse at this time but kicking off on the 2nd of April it's expected to be a guided expedition to significant sites and locations from the lore and backstory of the entirety of Elite's decade spanning history from all the games in the series. For more details on these or anything else we've talked about in the show this week then check out the video description below. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.